I haven't spoken with him directly since uh, the announcement by Senator Flake, uh, but I think that um, based on previous statements and certainly based on the lack of support that he has from the people of Arizona, it's probably a good move. I think that we support uh, the American people on this one. I think that the people both in Tennessee and Arizona uh, supported this president, and I don't think that the numbers are in the favor of either of those two senators in their states, and so I think that this is probably the right decision. Uh, look, the president is focused on doing this. That's what he spent the majority of his day talking about. He went to the Hill and met with Republicans senators to talk about tax reform, to push his legislative agenda. That's what he's spending a good bit of this week doing, uh, and we'll continue doing next week until we get the job done. Look, you've got a, a, an individual in the president. He's a fighter. We've said it many times before. The people of this country didn't elect somebody to be weak. They elected somebody to be strong, and when he gets hit, he's going to hit back, and uh, I think Senator Corker knows that, and he's you know maybe trying to get a headline or two on his way out the door. I wouldn't say necessarily he's remaking it because you have a couple of individuals that are no longer running for office. Look, he's got a great relationship with a number of uh, Republican senators. He's going to continue working with them and make sure that we get things done for the American people. He wants people uh, to be in the Senate that are committed to actually moving the ball down the field. And I don't think these two individuals necessarily have been as focused on that. The president wants to get things done, and that's what we're going to work through through the fall.